Hello everyone, this is Mike Padawan. We're back to our latest update. This is the uh, English version uh, of our weather analysis for this uh, Wednesday to Friday, August 6 to 8, 2025. And this is uh, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we proceed, we would like to thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainability. If you're interested to know more about sustainability uh, program or BPI, just click on the link here. And the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Lenny Robredo and our Honorable Vice Mayor Gabi Bordado. So let's begin with our update. We have a weak or shallow LPA, which is uh, about to uh, move to the north of Bicol region. Right now, it's currently here. Okay, roughly uh, 200 or 300 kilometers to the northeast of Catanduanes. It's quite disorganized. It has uh, less than 35% chance of becoming a tropical cyclone. But the rain bands will bring some thunderstorms, especially this afternoon or evening, not only here over Bicol region, but in other parts of Luzon, particularly on Thursday and Friday, where the system is expected to make landfall in the vicinity of uh, Isabela or Aurora. So that's the possible landfall of this very weak LPA. The winds of this LPA is currently at 30 kph and uh, just watch out for severe thunderstorms that could generate some flooding in hazard prone areas. And the dry uh, southwest monsoon still continues to affect the uh, Kalayan Island Group and Panatag Shoal. While over at Hong Kong and parts of southern China, it will be rainy. This is uh, caused by the wet southwest monsoon. So it's a different uh, southwest monsoonal flow over the southern part of the South China Sea compared to near Hong Kong area. And also over uh, Taiwan, some scattered showers will be expected because of this southwesterly wind flow. We have here Tropical Storm Bailo. Right now, it's uh, already outside of this chart or of this image. While we have another LPA here, 97W, which is eyeing to uh, develop into a tropical cyclone. Right now, it's more than 65% of becoming a tropical cyclone within the next 24 hours. This was created yesterday. That's why it's less than 35%. And as we look, to our latest uh, fast animation for this morning and you can see here the uh, increasing uh, low level circulation of LPA 97W which is forecast to move into uh, this direction this is the forecast of the European model so we are going to keep an eye on this 97W but the other system this is LPA 96W is uh, expected to move towards the northern Luzon this Friday and then on Saturday it will move out into the West Philippine Sea somewhere here okay so uh, pardon my uh, drawing okay so it's uh, going to be here by Saturday so expect thunderstorm activity all throughout Luzon especially in the afternoon or evening these are isolated to scattered ones so it's very hard to predict where exactly it will occur but the computer models have 50 to 70 percent uh, accuracy especially if you're using a weather app okay and uh, also across Visayas and Mindanao we expect here some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms as well after a few days of dry conditions remember we're still in the uh, wet season or the rainy season which will uh, uh, expect to persist to uh, November and the southwest monsoon is currently on a break currently uh, just here over the eastern coastal waters of Vietnam. We have a couple of uh, multiple tropical waves here. Nothing to worry about. There's one here. Okay, it's moving towards the west, but it's not expected to intensify. No models suggest that it will become a low pressure system. So this is just the one northeast of Bicol and this one, 97W. Now here's the zoom in subtle animation and it looks like uh, we are uh, going to have another round of thunderstorm activity. Uh, actually it started yesterday but uh, it will become more common today until uh, likely on uh, Saturday and through the weekend. It looks like this will be a daily occurrence through next week. 
before the uh, possible return of uh, the southwest monsoon if it will happen because the uh, modern Chilean oscillation is somewhat still over the Arabian uh, uh, Sea, okay, over the western hemisphere. So uh, you can see here the circulation of the uh, weak LPA is currently here northeast of Tanduan. So we expect thunderstorms, rainfall uh, this afternoon of Naga. Kamakani Sur and other parts of Bicol region and also over uh, Palawan, Mimaropa, Visayas, Mindanao in the afternoon or evening expect that but at this moment during the morning there are some rains and thunderstorms already occurring over central and western Visayas and here's the eastern wave uh, latest from the European model ensemble this is as of uh, 8 p.m. last night. We're gonna refresh this to get the uh, uh, 2 a.m. So there you go. This is now LPA 96 W, and it looks like it's more than 1,000 HPA. So meaning it's just a low pressure system. Mm, nothing shows here. The bulk of being a low pressure system is many compared to less on the uh, tropical storm side. Okay, and this is. The uh, next one, 97W, which is likely to move uh, more to the west, but we are going to keep an eye on this system if it will push through. Most likely, it will go here to the south of Japan. Okay, everything is quiet right now. And for the uh, latest from DeepMind of Google, the latest uh, on the low pressure system, this is the latest from the European model. If we move this slider, it's only the European model that uh, suggests that it will remain as a low pressure system. The deep mind uh, doesn't uh, show a thing here, except here over the northeastern part of Guam. This is the LPA 97W uh, likely. Okay, so it's moving uh, towards uh, Japan. So nothing, not a problem here in our country. Now let's take a look at the rain forecast. This is the rain forecast for today. So this afternoon we expect some thunderstorm activity across Luzon because of the uh, trough or the extension of LPA 96W, also Bicol region, and uh, localized thunderstorms across Visayas and uh, Mindanao. And if we move this into uh, Thursday, we expect some daily occurrence of afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms within the next uh, five days. Okay. And on Friday, this is now the uh, system moving into northern Luzon. So expect thunderstorm activity to occur over that area. And into uh, s Saturday in the afternoon, another rainfall, uh, probably thunderstorms will occur. So this will be a, an occurring, a recurring event every afternoon. Okay, in various sections of the country. And that will persist through Monday. Uh, okay. So, uh, just bring your umbrellas, rain gear, for this possible afternoon or evening rain showers. Now, for the rainfall accumulation forecast, I'm going to show it to you here. This is the uh, forecast for the next uh, 24 hours. So, uh, we expect uh, rainfall of 30 to, uh, this will be uh, 50 millimeters, okay? Uh, between 30 to 50 millimeters will be expected tomorrow thursday across uh, northern luzon but these are on isolated uh, areas particularly over Karian. okay in the rest of the country we have uh, some uh, patches of afternoon or evening isolated rain showers and thunderstorms so on friday uh, it looks like the rain bands will exit the northern parts of luzon and into uh, saturday okay so that's the 24-hour rainfall accumulation. There's nothing here. Just the usual thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening for the next five days. And for the wind forecast, this is now the track of uh, the LPA, which is expected to move closer to the shoreline of uh, Aurora and uh, Isabella on Thursday. And on Friday, it is likely to traverse northern Luzon. It will make... Uh, uh, an exit over the western coastal areas of uh, uh, northern or Ilocos region. So that will be the scenario of this uh, weak LP. There's nothing much here. 
Uh, so that's the uh, forecast for the next five days. If we extend this forecast of the European model into uh, August 20, there's uh, some uh, monsoonal flow here over the West Philippine Sea, but it's not uh, strong enough. Okay, so there's still uh, nothing to show to you here. So, so far until August 20, everything is quiet, normal across, across the country, except for that LPA 96W. Now for the wave forecast, for the next five days until Monday, August 11, everything is uh, great. The wave heights here is less than one meter, very light. The inland waters of our country is uh, calm to uh, almost um, 0.6 meters, so nothing to uh, worry about. Everything is great, except for the West Philippine Sea. There are wave heights here of the Kalayan Island group up to 2 meters because of the southwesterly wind flow. And uh, so far, if you're planning to have some fishing activities, please do so. But uh, just remember, during the afternoon or evening, there are uh, some patches of afternoon or evening. There are some patches of rain showers and thunderstorms. So please avoid the uh, the sea, okay? For possible uh, rogue waves generated by these localized thunderstorms. There are some gusty winds or subasco in Tagalog uh, during the time of uh, severe thunderstorms. Now let's take a look at the latest graph. This is a new one, which we discovered a few weeks ago. This is from the International Pacific Research Center, University of Hawaii. And uh, this is a uh, good product for you to see the intensity of the southwest monsoon. So for the Western Pacific, including the West Philippine Sea right now, it's negative. There's no uh, effects of the southwest monsoon. It's very low. This is the time wherein we have the uh, uh, two-week surge of the, the southwest monsoon. It's at more than uh, 20. Okay, so right now it's uh, very low. It's negative. So the southwest monsoon is just right there over the uh, West Philippine Sea near the coastal areas of uh, uh, Vietnam. As for the Global Tropics Hazards Outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, and for the next uh, two to three weeks, uh, for week two, valid August 13 to August 19, the Philippines will have more than 60% of uh, above average rainfall, mainly due to thunderstorms, uh, local showers. But the southwest monsoon is still uh, concentrated over the West Philippine Sea. And the uh, probability of a tropical cyclone formation or a, a tropical cyclone that may form here is... 20 more than 24 percent not yet at uh, 40 or 60 percent the probability of this forecast is at 50 percent and uh, by weekly valid august 20 to august 26 this is highly uncertain continued uh, more than 20 percent of the tropical cyclone formation west and east of the philippines up to the area of guam and more than 60 percent of above average rainfall and this is mainly due to the uh, usual suspects, thunderstorms, and uh, possibility of a southwest monsoon, but the forecast until uh, August 20, or until, yeah, until August 20 doesn't show a thing, okay? For the modern genuine oscillation, right now it's here. The uh, wet race is over the western hemisphere in the vicinity of Africa, and it's gonna be uh, somewhat stationary over the Indian Ocean for the next. Uh, 20 uh, days okay uh, for the next uh, one month and uh, the philippines is uh, located here okay now if you look at the ecmwf mjo forecast it's still uh, close to the one released by the bureau of meteorology australia so this is the wheeler and hendon uh, diagram that shows you uh, where the uh, wet phase of the modern journey oscillation so this is uh, for today day one and uh, those uh, dots, multicolored dots, represents the number of days based on the forecast. So there's no uh, forecast that it will reach the Western Pacific quite strong. Okay, uh, it doesn't show here. It's just uh, concentrated uh, over the Indian Ocean, maritime continent. Okay, 
So our country is somewhere here. So there's nothing to worry about as of this time. And as for the ensemble uh, the diagram of the Wheeler Hendon from the uh, GFS model, it's also the same. Dry conditions. Okay, this is the uh, dry face of the MGL, and it's uh, going. It's going to persist for the next 15 days until August 19. Okay. So there you go, that's the latest, there's uh, no problem at all, and we will uh, give you the uh, next update this coming Friday for another, for another weekend uh, update of our weather TV analysis. This is Mike Padua saying uh, good day to all, have a great week, stay safe always, and thank you so much for watching our channel, God bless to all.